how expensive are you? Like if I was going to buy you in a store, how expensive are you? Or have you made yourself maybe really cheap or really cheap in some areas? Today, we're going to talk about the three warning signs that you have made yourself cheap. Cheap, my friend. No more. So warning sign number one is that you tend to um, go for the first thing that becomes available, not go for it, but actually settle for the first thing that becomes available. Settling is always a sign that you have made yourself cheap, that you don't believe that you deserve what you truly desire, that you're not willing to um, go for that bigger target, you're just selling for what comes. And it's usually the first thing that comes like, oh, that's good enough. Oh, that's good enough. Watch your own languaging. If you're saying something like that to yourself in your own head, oh, well, this is good enough, then you're settling. And someone who was expensive would never settle for anything less than what they truly desired. Got it? (laughs) warning sign number two is that you tell yourself or others that you don't actually need very much. Um, If there's nothing left for you, you're kind of like, oh, it's fine. I I don't really need very much. Um, Maybe if there's a situation where, you know, uh, one person has to sleep on a more uncomfortable surface, you'd be the first one to be like, oh, it's fine. I can, I'll do it. I, I, I can sleep there. I don't need a comfortable spot. I don't need the extra glass of champagne. I don't need this. I don't need that. Now, not having needs is a wonderful thing to actually truly be needless. But being needless doesn't mean that you're cheap. Hmm? Just because you don't need it doesn't mean that you don't ask for it. Doesn't mean that you don't desire it and that you don't receive it. So if you've made yourself cheap, you're the cheap thing that would think of how you would treat an object. Say you had two, um, maybe pieces of jewelry, right? So you have this one that's really, really expensive. And how would you treat that? What kind of, um, we're talking about sleeping, what kind of uh, container would you put it in? Or would you just throw it in your purse and let it like um, jangle around in there and get scratched up? No, but you would treat something like that that was cheap. So are you treating your body like it's cheap? Are you treating your body like it is literally priceless? Like it is so expensive and irreplaceable. Mm. Check in on that one. All right. Warning sign number three. Um, You never, you would never spend the amount of money or time on yourself that you would for others. So for example, let's say you were going to make a meal and you would sit there and you would spend like two hours, like curating this really special meal for someone that you cared about. But if someone ever asked you, would you do that for yourself? You'd be like, I would never do that for myself. Or you would buy a gift for someone at a certain price, but you would never spend that amount of money on yourself. What that indicates is that you have made, again, yourself cheap and that you're willing to put that extra money, give the extra time to the things that you see as more valuable, the things that are more expensive in your life. Now, this analogy of the expensive and the cheapness really shows you that value point. So if you had something really precious to you that was really valuable, you would take more time with it. You would take care of it. You would make sure it was clean, that it was housed well, that it was, um, you know, going to be with you for a long time. And if something was really cheap, you might not care about it. You kind of almost expect the cheap things in your life to break pretty easily, you know, like, oh, well, this will do for now. That's that subtle energy, right? So where have you made yourself the thing that's going to do for now, rather than the unique, expensive, one of a kind item that you truly are. And here's the thing is we can all be expensive. We don't require the cheap to know how great and valuable we are. But I think some of us have bought into this lie that there's those that are just innately like this more valued product. And then those are of us that just came in like a cheap variety. Well, it's actually the way that you treat yourself is the way that others will treat you. It's not the other way around. 
if you treat yourself as expensive, and that doesn't mean that you have expectations of others, but that you're willing to demand of yourself, I'm not selling for anything. I'm not settling for anyone. I'm going to have exactly what I desire because I am that valuable. If you had a really luxurious vehicle and it required um, that higher grade gas, you wouldn't just fill the tank with the lower grade gas, right? No, because the car would break down pretty quickly. So are you filling your life with lower grade products? Are you filling your life with settling for this, settling for that? Well, I'd rather have a boyfriend than uh, no boyfriend. No, my friend, you were so much more valuable than that. What if you didn't settle anymore? What if you stopped treating yourself as cheap and you knew the greatness of you and you knew that you are an expensive item and if someone wants you in their life, then they're going to have to pay the expensive price (laughs) because you aren't cheap anymore. (laughs) I hope this video contributed to you. If you got something else, please leave a comment below. I love reading them and checking in on you guys. And uh, like the video, subscribe, please share it around. I really want to get this uh, content out to the world and your A few minutes of your time actually contributes so much. So thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.